Remember this West Michigan man? He was pulled over Thanksgiving Day, swerving and speeding on Interstate 94 in a school bus stolen from Metro Grand Rapids. Tonight, 24 Hour News 8 Susan Samples reports Josiah Curtis's case is prompting a call for change to Michigan's mental health law. This kind of thing, and my heart just sank for him. Uh, he's a sweet guy. He does well when he's taking his medications. You're going to be okay? Don Tack worked with Josiah Curtis for two years and countless others like him for decades. I've known many, many people that I've worked with who counted the days until their court order was over and so that they could go off their medications and then they crash and burn. Go! Tack says Curtis had crashed and burned when Grand Rapids Servant Center began working with the 25 year old after this incident in 2009. Curtis's strange behavior caught on camera prompted the evacuation of Kendall College. That's when the Servant Center became Curtis's guardian and got a court order to force him to get mental health treatment. The problem, those orders usually expire in 60 or 90 days. I think some changes need to be made. TAC wants state legislators to pass a law allowing judges to sign court orders for up to three years if someone has been committed more than three times. In my 20, 25 years of working with mentally ill homeless people, I've known clients that have been involuntarily petitioned into the psychiatric hospital 15, 20, 25, 30 times in their life. Curtis was committed five times in a single year and recently posed for five mug shots in just a couple months. Tack thinks longer court orders could help stop the revolving door and perhaps scenes like this one. That's Curtis dressed up in the background, live outside our Art Prize studio in October, describing himself as a fairy tale character. All right, so we've got cheerleaders, student council, and. Oh, and Rumpelstiltskin. All right, and we have Rumpelstiltskin out here, too. <laughs> then, the day before Thanksgiving, Curtis stole a school bus from a lot in Wyoming and headed east. Susan Samples, 24-Hour News 8.